G'day guys, welcome to another episode. This will probably be the last one for a little while. The operation snuck up on me. Apologise for the noise there. There's some oxy cutters working in the same field as me today and they're making a fair bit of noise with their cut cutting equipment. All right, so what I'm up to today, I'm just finishing off those loose ends that need tidying up. Those two plates that I put in the forward section haven't quite been butted up yet. So I'm just gonna pull them into line and make up some new stiffeners for them and hopefully get them welded in. That should be my plan. And then, then I just need to tidy up around the boat. Um, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be put away before I go in and leave this baby for a few weeks where I can't get into it. So yeah, just uh, a bit going on there. Maybe not in this episode, but maybe the next episode, I'll, I'll just put some covers over the hatches uh, just to keep the water out because I'm going to leave this for a little while and I'm hoping that I can get a tarp up over the top here. Uh, it's going to be a bit of an ass that one, but we'll see what happens. All right, well, I'll get on with the episode. Okay, so when I fitted this plate in, I had to put a weld down there on the keel just between where the new hole plate goes and the keel. And I just need to grind that back out now so it fits back in there. And there's another one just on this side, just right down at the bottom there. So I've just got to pull this plate out just briefly, give that a grind up and a clean, and then I can put it back in place and tack it in together. Okay, so you can see here, this is the um, plate below the engine, and this is the plate in the forward cabin. So what I have to do here, is I have to run a weld along there to start with, and then I have to bring these welds in and overlap them over that. So I have to make sure that I actually bite right into that. So what I'll do is I'll put a pass in here to start with, and then I'll put a pass over that, and then I'll feather this out. After I've feathered it out, then I'll put some more passes in over the top. What that'll do, that'll ensure that that will seal. So. Nice and flush there now.
Fuck you. Well, that didn't happen the way I wanted it to. Stopped and I couldn't restart it. Stopped right where I didn't want it to. Now you can see this point here, you can see how there's a little bit of a gap there. I really want a gap in there. And then as you come up here a bit further, there's no gap. So what I have to do, I'm just going to get the, a um, 2.5mm cutting disc and I'm just going to run it through there just to create a bit of a penetration gap. It's going to be a bit of a process because I have to do it a little bit of a bit of a time because I need to clip the plate at the same time to push it up. Apart from that ugly little bit of weld just there, I'm pretty happy with how that plate formed up to that shape. So what my step is here, here now is to go inside and weld this up, but before I'll do that I'll go across the other side and dog that plate up exactly the same as I've done here. So yeah, extremely happy with, with how that plate looks. What I'm doing here, I'm closing in all that forward cabin. So these here, they're just covers that are going over the windows. I'm only just going to silicone them in place. I don't think there's any need for anything more than that. I will take some screws up with me just in case. Um, and that other big cover, it just has to sit down over the top of the of a hatch. So, all right. I've just got to put some angles on there so that it won't shift from side to side. And then we'll head up and we'll go and elastic them all in place. Turn it over, there's cheeky things on the back side.
fit inside the hatch. Okay, so now that I've closed in all the bottom of the hole as best can be for the time being, um, I just want to close all these hatches in. So these port windows and that hatch on the top there. So for the port windows, I've just cut some strips of aluminium up. I've just got to clean a bit of gunk off here and then I'll silicon them in and um, put a couple of screws in. For the top hatch, it just basically sits on there and if I've got any silicon left, I'll just run it around the edge and I'll leave a little bit of um, material sitting on top just to hold it there. So all right, I'll just get these tidied up. Um, I've just got to drill some holes in those plates and then I'll just get the silicon out and away we go. Alright, that's it for me for a bit. I've just finished strapping everything down there on the trailer, packed everything on, on the back of the ute and tidied up the site so that it's nice and clean and tidy, um, so no rubbish or anything goes anywhere. Um, I'll try and get some work done, but let's see how this shoulder rehabilitation goes. Apparently it's going to take a long, long time, so yeah, we'll, we'll have to see where it heads. I'll give you updates um, along the way just to let you know how I'm going. And um, hopefully um, I can get the whole family up here to do a little bit because they're all pretty keen to get some stuff done. So, yeah, hopefully it all works out. All right, until next time, cheers, guys. Stay safe. Bye.